What's going on party people? Welcome back to another video here in beautiful Jamaica. And today, I'm going to one of the most requested places that you guys told me to go, technically, but not surely. So it's very interesting. I'm going to the Blue Mountains today. We're heading up the hills, way, way up the hills. And I was actually just informed by this gentleman right here, LJ, yeah? Yeah, man, LJ. LJ. He was just telling me that, um, so the Blue Mountain Peak Range in Jamaica, and this is something that I think everyone should know because every time I'm in Jamaica when I'm riding around and I see a mountain peak, I, I say this, I say, is that Blue Mountains? Is that Blue Mountains? I do that all the time. And I would assume that other people do that as well. So maybe it's informative to let you guys know that there's other mountain peaks here in Jamaica other than Blue Mountains. And the one we're going to today, they're all connected. It's just different names. And we're going to John Crow Mountain, yeah? Right. Yeah, okay. Catherine's Peak and John Crow Mountain. Okay, Catcher's Peak? Catherine's Peak. Catherine's Peak. And actually he was telling me that up here is the place where they sell, um, they grab the St. Catherine's water yeah. and then they bring it down and they sell it. And we actually just saw a water truck coming down. So I thought that was very interesting how I can see the water truck going up, grabbing the water, coming down, bottling it, and then selling it. And I understand that concept does make sense, but to some of us in America, we would be like, well, it sounds like you're selling free water, but it doesn't matter. It's, the land is private, et cetera, et cetera. And actually it's, in, um, it's interesting because about, they told me 80% of Japanese um, buy, the, uh, the, buy the coffee here, the coffee beans. So another interesting fact, I would have thought Japanese people were more consumers of tea and things like this, as I've seen in other Asian countries. But yeah, I don't know. You, the more you know, you learn new things every day. Today. Right here, I'll give you guys a quick glimpse. We're just riding up the road, up the hill. I can actually almost feel my ears popping a little bit due to the elevation gain. It's not much, just a little bit. And um, yeah, I think we're about, I'd say 20 minutes from Kingston. Pa yeah, Papine? So Papine or Papine? Papine. Papine, yeah, you guys were getting on me in the comments earlier. It's Papine, <laughs> Papine. And uh, check out the bamboo trees right here. You guys, I'm gonna be completely honest. As I'm riding up this hill, I thought the peak would have ended like a while ago. Like I thought we were gonna be at the top a while ago, but as Jamaica has many tricks and surprises up its sleeve. So when you come to this country. I'm pulling up on a scenic spot. Okay. We're pulling up on a little scenic spot right now. So I'll get out and give you guys a quick wow. Check out this view. This is the view of Kingston. So this is a much better view than the one I gave you guys, I would say, when I went to, um, when I went over to uh, the Dub Club, when I, in that last video, in that last video. Check this out right here. Absolutely amazing, vast scenery. You guys remember we were down at the port just a couple weeks ago, Devon House ice cream, everything down there. I think, I don't know, I feel like this could be Port Royal over there. I could be wrong, but I'm just assuming right now, I'm trying to give you guys. A little bit of narration just keep it real with you you know how it is but no seriously this is absolutely amazing very beautiful we just came up this road right here this is the dam that's a dam i was telling you about okay mona dam, mona dam? Mm -hmm. interesting and this right here is all kingston yep. okay and you got the port over here wow this is amazing you guys check this out if you want to come to a place like this here in kingston you want to give out your info you want to big yourself up yeah man my name is lj when i can contact me number is five 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 nine one zero and i'll take you on a trip from the mountains yeah that's the airport out there you know that's the palisades strip okay so that is the airport you guys i was right so port royal is over there yeah, yeah. Behind here. Okay, behind here. Yeah. All right. So, wow. And I'm happy, you guys. Today is a clear day. So, we are able to see over the mountains. So, today, when we get to the top, maybe we'll be able to see something better. I think today is going to be filled with a little bit of an adventure. We're just going to go up to the top, to the Blue Mountains. He might show us his property. Um... I'm with One Stop Cultural Tours Jamaica as well. The lady you guys seen in my last vlog of that Batiman vl uh, little video and you guys were going crazy for that, but it was super funny. So yeah, I think we'll go get some coffee as well on the way down because the Black Mountain, um, Black Mountain Range, this is where the coffee is grown and things like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, interesting day i'm very excited this is one thing that i really really wanted to do when i came to jamaica is i wanted to go to the blue mountain peak john crope any peak really i just wanted to see the mountain range but it was very very expensive to get a stay up here and to get um lodging and to get uh how do you say uh transportation back and forth and you guys know me i'm a broke backpacker i gotta do it the best way i can 
that's just what it is. I'm going to leave you guys right here. And we will see you guys when we get to the top. Let's go. Tick time ton or you will tumble dung. Interesting. This is a sign here in Jamaica warning you. Be safe when you go down the road. This lady is actually, um, well, not one of Jamaica's national heroes. But what's her name again? Louise Bennett Covali. Louise Bennett Covali, right here in Jamaica, overlooking this beautiful peak. Look famous at this. Jamaican Patwa poet. Ah, famous Jamaican Patwa poet. So maybe this is something she wrote, or they use this to warn you yeah, yeah, about the hill. Very interesting. A hill warning right there. Yes, I understand. A hill warning. Kind of like uh, telling you to go slow or stop. So. It's funny, in Jamaica and also in other countries, I've seen many signs that say, um, don't be a fool, wear your helmet, crack, crack your head, or something of the sort. They always bring these signs up to warn uh, tourists and the driver to you know, be cautious when you're driving on the road. So that's something very good. Say that again. We say it with a twist. With the twist? Yeah, man. Okay. Take time or you tumble down. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, he got the he got the accent, not me. We don't, we don't do that, so we out here. <laughs> So right there, that's one of the water trucks coming down delivering water. And something interesting that he just told me was that Blue Mountain Range, Blue Mountain Range, um, actually spans across three parishes: St. Thomas, Portland Parish, and what's the third one? St. Andrew. That St. Andrew. That Andrew. Kingston and St. Andrew. And uh, the highest point of this mountain is in Center Mass, which that's where I was the other day. That's where I hitchhiked from. You guys saw that. And uh, I thought that was interesting. So right now we're in Irish Town. And um, <clears throat> if you guys know why this place is called Irish Town, please drop down in the comments. This is Cafe Blue right here. So this is, uh, that's one of the famous places here that people come to um, from Kingston. Yeah, and enjoy coffee. You can get Blue Mountain coffee there, right? Right, right. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's Cafe Blue right there. So a lot of people come there. We'll probably maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll stop there later and give you guys a quick little glimpse. But we're heading up the mountain right now. He said we're not even halfway to the point where we're going, and we've been driving for a minute. So it's funny when you're down below and you look up at the mountain, you don't think that like this whole community and just everyone else lives here, unless you're from here. You understand? But. Very interesting. I'm enjoying it so far. The drive alone is absolutely beautiful. Dude, Jamaica is insane. I'm a military buff. You guys know this. I always wondered where does the Jamaican military train? Where do they where do they go to boot camp? Where do they do their their activities? Up there on the top of that mountain is apparently the JDF barracks, the Jamaican Defense Force barracks, the military here. That's where they go to boot camp. So if you were in the Marine Corps, if you were in the Army from America, this would be places like Fort Benning or Paris Island. The Jamaican Defense Force trains up in these mountains for I don't know how many years or, or excuse me, I don't know how many weeks, how many months or anything like that. But this is crazy. My boot camp was a little different than this. We were on flat ground as opposed to the Marines who went to California. We're on flat ground, but the JDF is training up here in these mountains daily, coming up and down. I just thought that was crazy. So right now we're actually gonna keep driving up and we're gonna drive right through there. That's one thing, another thing that's interesting about this is when you're on these roads, you're integrated in like with the military training exercises. So it's just, it's mind blowing. We're gonna, we're gonna ride up there and I'll show you guys a little view going through there. That feeds the community with water. Yeah, man. Ah, interesting. So people come up again. A lot of people in Jamaica don't pay for water, right? Like they just. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Guys, there's pine trees up here. Do you see them up there? He says that this is the only place in Jamaica where pine trees grow well up in the mountains because of the temperature, the climate. I was happy to see a pine tree because I haven't seen one since I've been home. <laughs> So this right here is the water factory, St. Catherine's Peak, yeah? No, not St. Catherine's Peak, Catherine's Peak. Catherine's Peak, yeah, Catherine's like, Peak right here. Truck loading right there. Yeah, so this is a truck loading up with the water. This is interesting, you guys. I never knew that this is how they did things here. <laughs> okay, and then he'll go down and he'll 
put the water out at the uh, okay. factory. Yeah, at the bottling factory, yeah. and then they'll just sell it to you in town. And a Japanese person owns a Chinese guy owns owns the bottling company. So interesting. The more you know, this is the ride up to where we're going and he tells me that uh we'll be heading towards the border of portland and saint andrew, andrew. you guys i gotta learn my parishes here in jamaica much better because i only know like landmarks and names of places like ochi the grill mandeville things like that so next time i come back i'll uh i'll make sure i have my parishes down properly all right, guys, check this out right here. Caribbean Military Academy, Newcastle. Selfless leadership, that's what it's about. I'm sure these men up here are training very hard. Yeah, As you can see, yeah, this is where all the soldiers train. You can see it is, uh, they got barbed wire all around. And it's crazy to me that we are literally driving through a military installation right now because in America, Anywhere else I've been, you would not be able to do this. Are you kidding me? This would not be able to happen. Uh, military facilities back where I'm from are locked down. Like, you, 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 you just ain't getting in. And here we have another absolute beautiful view of Kingston. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to walk out and I will show you guys some of these signs right here. This is, as you guys know, again, military buff. So it seems like this is a heritage trail. Let's see what this is. Wall of badges. Very interesting. Actually, it would be nice if I can, maybe tomorrow I'll go down to Kingston and I'll check out the uh, World War II memorial over there. But this is something right here that you can find at the top of, I guess, John Crow Mountain. So the Jamaica Military Heritage Wall of Badges. Okay. This is interesting. The practice of placing regimental badges on the wall by the square began by the 64th Regiment in 1886. The practice was followed by the Royal Artillery later that century with the date of 1655 placed on the badges. Wow. Look at this, you guys. So if you guys have family that is in the military um, in the Jamaican military, Jamaican Defense Force. Maybe maybe you guys have been here before? I don't know, let me know. Do the, when Jamaicans graduate boot camp, when the Jamaican Defense Force people graduate boot camp, do people come here to uh, attend the ceremony or do they go elsewhere? Drop down in the comments and let me know. We have West Yorkshire, Manchester Regiment. So this is all very, very interesting. This reminds me of also something back in the Marine Corps. Um, we also have badges to represent, you know, our battalion or, you know, where we come from. So it's a very, very nice thing. I'm happy that today the sky is clear. So we're able to get a wonderful view of all the mountain peaks, downtown, the port. I'll show you guys this view again, once again. I mean, just because another reason that you should come to Jamaica is this absolute pure natural beauty right here. Um, I, I think right now I'm gonna make an assumption. I think maybe these are the barracks for the, for the soldiers or maybe the uh, schoolhouse, I guess you can say, maybe their education learning center. So, Oh, very, very excited. Shout out to One Stop Cultural Tours and LJ for um, bringing me on this wonderful, wonderful adventure. You guys can see up there the towers, clouds coming over. Man, this is just so beautiful. Thank you guys for uh, suggesting this to me. And I was really, really worried that this time around in Jamaica, I wasn't going to be able to make it to the Blue Mountains. Even if this is John Crow Mountain or whatever, it's still a part of the Blue Mountains. So very interesting it's my favorite and you can see just like back home they have a basketball court over here so you know military guys when it's a lot of built up tension and aggression they got to get out their anger come onto the court maybe go over to the pull-up bars do some pull-ups you know yes sir and that's how the thing go so this peak way out here is the Rasta camp. That's Bobo Hill. If you guys actually watch Chris Musliss video, shout out, big up Chris Musliss. He gave me a lot of contacts here. He did a video at Bobo Hill teaching you about Rastafari culture and what they believe in religion and things like that. So 
Um, go check out Chris Muscle's video if you want to learn more about that. He does it really in depth, but that's it right over there, top peak. Rastafari school, huh? That settlement that you see over there, right here. It's settlement where they see yeah. those houses. Yeah. yeah and that's it over there. This man just said he comes here on the 1st of June. 1st of January. On the 1st of January to watch the fireworks. That is amazing. This is the perfect view. And he lives so close by, he could just drive up here and check it out for free. Wouldn't you guys like to have a view like that for our 4th of July for the people in America? Amazing. And this is Holly, Hollywell Park, yeah? The bar. This is the border of Portland and St. Andrew. And St. Andrew. Okay. So you guys can see Kingston, Portland, Hardwar Gap. Very interesting. And we're going in here next. And what's Hollywell? Can you explain? Uh, Hollywell is a nature park. Okay. And then some parts of Hollywell is in St. Andrew and some parts is in Portland. So it's a very interesting park. Okay. Vamos. Taking you guys into Hollywell. Cabin, sorry. Birds. They can go watch. And people come here for bird watching. Just for bird watching. Yeah, so a lot Jamaica. Of species of birds here. Yeah, and Jamaica's very famous for bird watching, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but far there too, you can walk to the river. Yeah. You want a lot of hiking yeah. available. Okay. You can check out that Okay. Are you kidding me? This is an absolute first. I've been seeing electric cars around Jamaica, but in my mind, I'm like, okay, it's not such a big thing. Where are they going to charge it, et cetera, et cetera. I'm literally up here where you guys just saw, border of Portland and I don't know, wherever I'm at, Kingston. I don't know. I don't know the name, but there is an EV charging station up here in the middle of the mountain. That is absolutely absurd to me. So there's a community right over here of very well-to-do people. They have a little bit of money. So I'm going to assume that this charging station is one station for the people that live in this community down here that maybe don't have a charging station in their home. But having money, I would assume maybe they do. But I don't know. It's just blowing my mind that I'm seeing an EV charging station literally up here on the top of the mountain, like Catherine's Peak, like... I don't know, to me it doesn't make any sense, but <laughs> it's right there. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys inside of Hollywell here in a second. You guys can come here, you can camp, they have cabins. Uh, actually, restroom campsite up this way. We right now are driving on this road, so uh, as you can see, these, this right here is mountain roads. Yeah, the view is absolutely amazing. Right here we have a sign that says, The Blue and John Crow Mountains National Park was designated on 26th of February 1993 under the Natural Resource Conservation Authority Act. So Hollywell is the main recreation area within the national park. Okay, so, oh, this is actually... Preserve, pre, uh, preservation zone for the national park was inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. So we're at a UNESCO World Heritage site right now. Yeah. Wow, guys. I guess I can mark another UNESCO World Heritage site off of my map or off of my list, I guess you can say. <laughs> but up here is absolutely beautiful. Roads are a little bit rough, but you know, when traveling in Jamaica, got to do like the Jamaicans do. And that is it to give you guys an idea of how this journey has been going so far. So we started in Kingston, right over here in this area. And we came up to Hope Estate, which I was told back in the day was a big uh, plantation, big slavery plantation. And then we drove all the way up, Industry Village, came around, past Irish Town. I passed the Red Light District, passed the Newcastle District, and we are right here. We're right here. So this is the location that we're at right now. And actually, apparently this place was open during, um, or excuse me, this place was open before Hurricane Barrel, but now it seems to be closed. They're still doing uh, renovations and things like that. But this was a place where you can get food and you can buy, um, you know, you can buy souvenirs and things like that. So this is called Blue Brews Bistro. I'm not exactly sure when they'll be opening back up, but as you can see, this is quite a vibe. And look at this massive tree right here in front of me. I don't even know what kind of tree that is, but this is a place that actually, when this opens up, 
I can come back and see myself hanging out at. I love being in nature. I love the natural vibe that Jamaica gives me. It's perfect. It's, it's, it's a place that I really, really, truly enjoy. It feels like up here especially, it feels like it brings me back up um, to my childhood. And this down here is a place where you can camp. This is the camping grounds. Check out the chair right here made out of, I don't know if this is pine or, or what, but everything here, these people here are very, very resourceful. You have your garbage right here. Probably just come here, set up your tent. We have some signs here about solar power. We have the map of the solar installments at Hollywell. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, solar is definitely something that you should have um, while living in Jamaica here, if you can afford it, if you can have that for your house. Because um, when the power went out after the hurricane, uh, I stayed at the Airbnb, the nice one, and the um, solar panels is what kept everything going. So, very nice. You have your bathroom down here. Then, you know, if you've never uh, grown up in the mountains or the bush, usually, usually what we do is we use an outhouse uh, where I grew up. We use an outhouse. So what we'll do is we'll go outside, we'll do our business in the outhouse, and then it just goes down into a hole. You just throw some dirt or some uh, sawdust over the hole. So that way it doesn't smell and you're covering up your... Whoa! So that way it doesn't smell and you're covering up your trace of any human excrements, you know? Check it out. You can come just sit down on a chair right here. Enjoy the nice view early in the morning. Maybe sunset, sunrise. Wow. I'm enjoying my time in Jamaica. I'm going to have to come back here and go camping here at Holly Honeywell? Hollywell? When they open up. For sure. Come on, you guys, right here. Jam with your little bonanunos. <laughs> Niam your bickle and reason with friends. I kind of like that saying. That's a nice vibe. Bickle is another name for food. Lickle? Bickle? Bickle is another name for food. So like wine, like wine. Wine with your friends, lime, chill, eat food, hang out. Okay. Right here at Blue Brews Bistro up here in John Crow Mountain Peak, yeah? Yeah. Like I said, they're just still opening up and things like that so very interesting who, who your boy out here trying to speak Pazwa? Who, who he think he is come on now just a short walk from the campgrounds down there where you set up your tent we have actual um log cabins that you can rent out here and again at the point of this video i don't think that they're open but um I know soon they will be. This is amazing. Oh my God. This is what you can expect here. And there's water all over the property. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, when you come up here though, you do need to bring your own food. So bring your own food, bring all your provisions and come up here and enjoy yourself. There's actually a waterfall within walking distance of this place as well. So, my gosh, the property is absolutely maintained perfectly. They were actually just maintaining it um, when I pulled in. And I think this is, oh yeah, another campsite right down here. So you guys, Hollywell, Hollywell, right here on the top of John Crow Mountain Peak. Absolutely beautiful. I'm coming back here 110%. I'm coming back to Jamaica, so yeah i'll be spending some time here when i come back this place is gorgeous overlooking kingston what more can you ask for check this out jamaican truck driver right here i've watched a documentary and uh, they were saying it was like world's dangerous roads documentary and they were saying jamaica has some of the like world's like toughest truck drivers wow came through this little gap right here we're about to go through so you can see we have some logs and some stones right here he just had to move them out the way and you said that you were a truck driver at one point right yeah man. yeah um driving water trucks like this or uh anything else oh, okay. paul in general Interesting, yeah, that's a tough job here. Drive, could you imagine driving in these roads? Gotta make sure your hydraulic systems are good, your tires are good, brake pressure good, everything. Takes a lot. I think what we're gonna do right now is head over to somewhere I've been highly suggested um, 
to go to. It's called Cafe Blue here in Irish Town, and he was telling me this is the first Cafe Blue. Where's the other one? There's another one. It's located all across the island and even overseas. Okay. It was first established here. Okay. Interesting. And uh, what makes Jamaican coffee so special? Just the climate it's grown in, the way it's... Yeah, man, the soil, even down to the soil. Yeah. yeah the water that we use, the water, it's natural spring water. Yeah, the soil here is super yeah, rich. I was told that you could just throw a seed on the ground and like something will grow. Yeah, man, exactly. Interesting. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys over here to uh, Cafe Blue over in Irish Town and uh, should be a little vibe. I'm going to get a coffee. I'm going to get it black. I don't only drink black coffee, so... Stopping right here on the side of the road coming down from uh, John's Crow Peak. This is a coffee depot and right here actually what happens is I think Tuesdays and Saturdays the coffee farmers from up in the communities that um, are you know farming their coffee because there's a lot of coffee. Jamaica's big with coffee. They come here, they sell their product here, trade, do whatever they have to do and then the big distributor, the big man, he comes up the hill and then he buys the coffee off of these people and I asked this guy in the truck I said well I said well then that means these people must earn like less money because they're selling it to the distributor he's pushing it out to the big people and he said yeah I guess it might be a little bit of like a government license type of issue I'm not really educated on it drop down in the comments and let me know but I don't know I think it would be better if someone could come in and directly cut off the middleman the distributor and then maybe just you know directly contact the farmer or something but again but then again i know like production and packaging and things like that takes time money effort etc so i understand but at the same time it's tricky but so this is what you know it looks like coffee traders here in jamaica you can see we have a beautiful house over here in the background this some people up here got some money now i'm telling you it's crazy absolutely beautiful let's head off down to cafe blue Here we are, finally arrived at Cafe Blue. This place looks very nice. Ugh, you gotta make sure you get out of the way here in Jamaica before you get run over. But I'll, check, I'll show you guys what the vibes are like here. And this is uh, the famous Cafe Blue where everyone suggests you come. This section right here is actually the um, food, food shop. So you can come here. Does your menu change every day or is it the same? It changes every day? So the menu changes every day, you see here. And this is the view that you are greeted with when you come out of Cafe Blue. I want to say that, I dare say that the tables are made out of maybe the trees that have fallen around here in Jamaica. But look at this view, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. I am in love with that house right there. I do not know what the inside of it looks like, but the fact that the carport is on the top... I can walk down. I feel like maybe down there is a hangout chill area. Look at the steps that go up and just wrap around here. Wow. Mountain living in Jamaica is very, very nice. Much different than most of the other places I've been to. Construction sort of still the same, but man, I like this vibe. You can see there's a nice, nice house over there. Lady on her roof. I feel like you would have to have some money to build something like that over there. And I think that that is the case for most of these houses over here. You gotta have some serious money to be building such in a structure like this on a place like, you know, over here in the mountains because some of these places, the roads are very bad. So for them to bring up the material is just crazy, dude. So you guys have a little seating lounge area in here and you can take a route taxi from Papen, Papen, Papin. You can take a route taxi from there all the way up here you could just tell them cafe blue in irish town and they'll know where to take you i'll give you guys a quick glimpse of i'll give you guys a quick glimpse of the other side around here and then this is the coffee shop right here as well right in here this is the coffee shop I'll show you guys. I'll give you guys a glimpse of the menu right here. Hello, how are you? This is what I'm gonna get. 100% Blue Mountain Jamaican coffee. We'll get one of those. Can I have uh, the Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee, a straw please? If that's possible. And then you have some treats right here as well. Do you guys bake these in here? No, factory. 
Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that chocolate mocha. No rum cake, huh? I was told to try some rum cake or black cake when I'm here. So we'll get this coffee and then uh, see you guys out there. Here we go. We got the famous Blue Mountain coffee. Ooh, I hope it's as good as they say. Honestly, I'm the type of person where like, it's kind of like the KFC video, you guys. I'm the type of person where I give you the real, raw, honest truth. If this coffee tastes just like regular black coffee, I'm gonna tell you that, you understand? Then again, I might not be the person that has a experienced palate in coffee tasting. It's not like I'm a, what do they call them, a sommelier? The people who drink the wines or something like that? Like, I'm not like that with the coffee, so. Let's give it a go. We have this black coffee here. It's a little bubbly at the top. I don't know, I don't know what's good with that, but. Mmm. Well, burn my am tongue. That was hot. But okay. Mmm. Black? Black, yeah. Hot. You drink your coffee black? Hell no. No? How do you drink it? With cream. With cream? Yeah. Nah, I only and drink sugar. I only drink black coffee. Yeah. Man. yeah. Drop down in the comments. Let me know. You guys drink black coffee, cream, no, sugar? Coffee with cream and sugar. <laughs> Is that yeah. how people in Jamaica do it? With or? cream and two sugars. Cream and two sugars. <laughs> okay, so maybe yeah, I just yeah. did it wrong. Don't hurt me in the comments, but normally I drink it black. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> black coffee is rough in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. It, it'll it'll hit strong, you. Right? Yeah, it's strong. Yeah, it's very, very strong. Mm. Yeah, usually back home I drink like a Colombian roast or I drink um, Bustelo. If you guys know about Bustelo, it's like a Hispanic Cuban um, coffee and it's also very strong. I think they sort of resemble each other to be completely honest. Actually, I think this one might be a little bit more stronger, a little more bitter. Uh, to be honest with you, but what kind of tree is this right here? This this tree with these beautiful flowers on them. Do you know? Or is this just a That looks like the donkey peepee mm. They call it donkey yeah. urine. Oh, really? The donkey peepee. Yeah, donkey peepee. Pee -pee is another name for urine. Okay, I got you <laughs> It looks like that tree. Yeah Really 100% sure. Interesting. This is a this is a view though. It's nice. Mm. Okay, guys, we're gonna do it from here. I think uh, I think that was I think that's gonna do it for the day. I'm actually happy I decided to just take a you know a, a, a cab or a tour up to the mountain and then back down because I really wasn't prepared to sleep out there for the night. I don't have the right equipment with me. So next time when I come back, I'll definitely be giving you guys some camping videos from this area. Here in Jamaica, up at Hollywell, Ho Hollywell, yeah, Hollywell, yeah, up there. So, again, beautiful day. This is just another reason why you guys should come visit Jamaica. You know, 